All right, so now we're going to solve um, quadratic inequalities. All right, we've got a couple of examples to show that. So the first one is solve x squared is greater than 2x plus 15. All right, so the idea we're going to discuss here um, is used quite extensively in mathematics, and so I'm just going to use the quadratic inequalities here to help get that concept across. So uh, first off is write everything on one side. All right, so we would have x squared minus 2x minus 15 is greater than 0. Okay, so now we want to think of our inequality, think of as an equation. x squared minus 2x minus 15 is equal to 0. The reason why? Because we know how to solve this quadratic equation. Right, this factors x minus 5 x plus 3. Everybody see that? Equals 0, set each factor equal to 0, and you get 5 and negative 3. So 5 and negative 3 are the zeros to this quadratic equation right here. All right, so we're going to use them by drawing a number line and plotting the two zeros on the number line. So here, let's say, is negative 3. And here is 5. Make sure you put the smaller number on the left and the larger number on the right. All right, so these, these, these two zeros right here separate our number line into three regions. If you had more zeros, then you would have more regions on your number line. Okay? But the concept's going to stay exactly the same, no matter how many regions you have. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to give these names. All right, so this would be region A, region B, and region C. Okay. All right. So now, going back up up here to x squared minus 2x minus 15 is greater than zero. This is what we really want to solve. Okay. Well, this left hand side we know factors into x minus 5 and x plus 3. So I'm going to bring this down here and write it as such: x minus 5 times x plus 3 is greater than zero. All right, so now we're going to go region by region. Okay, so let's take region A. And we want to take a test point in that region. So TP for test point, not toilet paper. And test point means just take any number that's up here in, the, in region A. All right, so like negative 4. And so what we're going to do with this test point is we're going to plug it in right up here and for the x's. So it would look like negative 4 minus 5, because we took negative 4 and plugged it in for that x. And then negative 4 in for that x, you'd have negative 4 plus 3. Plug that in. And then all you're trying to determine is if this is a true statement or a false statement. All right? So negative 4 minus 5, that's negative 9. Negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. And so we have negative 9 times negative 1, which is a positive 9, which is certainly greater than 0. So this is true. And so we're going to mark region A here as true. Okay? All right. Then you go to the next region, region B. Say, hmm, what would be a good test point in region B? Well, if you can take 0, take 0. All right? So now we're going to take this 0 and plug it in for x here. So you'd have 0 minus 5, and so that would be negative 5. And then 0 plus 3, which would be 3, greater than 0. And say, all right, is this a true statement or a false statement? And that would be false, because negative 15 is not greater than 0. So you'd come up here, and you'd say, all right, that's false. All right, and then you keep right on going. So region C. All right, what's a good test point in region C? All right, so you want any number that's over here to the right of 5. All right, we'll take 6. Okay. All right, so plug 6 in for x, and you get 6 minus 5 times 6 plus 3 greater than 0. That gives you, what, 1 times 9, which is greater than 0, and that is true. So this would be true. Right? What that means, since 6 is true, it means any number in this region that you take would make this a true statement. 
right? Any number between negative 3 and 5, take any number, uh, then it would make this a false statement. And any number uh, less than negative 3 plugged in here would make it a true statement. Okay, so it's why it's called using the test point idea. We're just taking a point in this region and then just testing it to see if it gives us a true statement or a false statement. Now for the solution, we want all the true regions. So that would be this region with a little arrow pointing on and this region with a little arrow pointing on. Okay. Now what about negative 3 and 5? Are they included or not? Well since this is strictly greater than they're not included and so we have parentheses. Okay, In interval notation that would look like negative infinity until we get to negative 3 union 5 to infinity. And that's it. Take any number in either one of these regions and it's going to make this a true statement. And that's what we're trying to find. Okay, let's do one more. All right, let p of x equal x squared plus 3x minus 10. We want to solve p of x is less than or equal to 0. So that means we're really trying to solve x squared plus 3 of x minus 10 is less than or equal to 0. Right? All right, so now does this polynomial factor eh, factors into x, what is it, x plus 5, x minus 2, less than or equal to 0. If you think of this as an equation, right, think of this as an equation, then what would the zeros be? Right, then the zeros would be negative 5 and 2. All right, I'm kind of leaving out that little step from before. Right? If you think of this as equal to 0, then negative 5 is a 0 and 2 is a 0. And then we come over here to our number line. And we mark them. So this would be, say, negative 5 is there, 2 is there, region A, B, and C. Right? And then you go. So in region A, what would be a good test point in region A? Say, all right, negative 6. So plug negative 6 in for x right here, and you would have negative 6 plus 5 times negative 6 minus 2 is less than or equal to 0, and that would be negative 1, uh, negative 8, and that would be false. Everybody see that? So this would be false. All right. Region B, what's a good test point? All right. If you can take 0, take 0. No, 0 will not always be in region B. All right. So just be careful of that. All right. And so then 0 plugged in for x here, you're going to get 5 and then negative 2. And we see, all right, is that true or false? And that's true. So we got a big T. And then region C, what's a good test point in region C? Uh, 3 be a good test point. All right, and so you get 3 plus 5 times 3 minus 2 is less than or equal to 0, which is 8 and 1. And 8 times 1 is not less than 0, so that's false. So this is false. We want to shade the true area which is between negative 5 and 2. So that's this entire area. And what about negative 5 and 2? Well, since this is less than or equal to, we have brackets. Right? In the interval notation, it would be negative 5 to 2. And that would be your solution. All right? So the idea of test points. Uh, or is used well beyond solving quadratic inequalities. Um, so uh, just make sure you understand the concept because the concept's not going to change. You're just going to find your, your zeros, plot them on the number line, separate your number line in a number of regions, and then you're going to go region by region by taking a test point, plugging them into your inequality to determine if it's true or false, and then we want to take the true regions. That's it. All right, study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.